everyone so today i'm going to be showing you how i make tissue culture media at home this particular protocol is for african violets and i found this protocol in the book plants from test tubes today i'll only be making half a liter of media so if you're looking to make a full liter and you're following along then you'll just need to multiply all of the measurements by two Every protocol is different, so if you're doing a plant that's not African violets, the process will be similar, but you'll use different plant growth regulators and different amounts of some of the ingredients. I recommend just finding protocols online. That's what I do. Google Scholar is a really great resource for that. The first thing that you saw me do was add 400 milliliters of distilled water to the glass container. And the second thing was just adding half a milliliter of plant preservative mixture or PPM, which just helps reduce the contamination potential. Right now I'm adding half a milligram of NAA and NAA is an auxin, so that will help with rooting. And then I also add half a milligram of BA. I use the premix solutions from Phytotech because I find that's a lot easier and leaves a lot less room for error than trying to mix my own solutions at home. I have a list there of some of the common cytokin, cytokinins and common auxins that are used frequently in different protocols. Um, depending on what type of plant it is, it'll call for different plant growth regulators, which is that list we just saw. I also add 15 grams of sucrose. Again, if you're making a full liter, just double it. I also recommend getting a hot plate or magnetic stirrer like the one that I have in this video. It's really hard to get these ingredients to combine properly without a heat element to it. I also add 2.3 grams of Murashigi and Scooge, as well as four grams of agar. The the protocol that I'm following actually only calls for 3 grams, um, but I like my my media to be a little firmer. Um, last time I tried it with 3 grams and it turned out a little too watery for me. So then I just fill the container up to the half a liter mark or 500 milliliters and I test the pH. I want it to be around 5.8 for this protocol. Every protocol will be a little different, but it's usually around 5.7 or 5.8 where you want the pH of the media to be. So mine was a little low, it was in the high fours. So what I'm doing here is just using basic hydroponic up to increase the pH of my media to get it to 5.8. And once it's at the desired pH, I just let everything continue to heat up and mix. Um, so that we have a really homogeneous mixture and the agar is not sinking to the bottom, which can happen again if you don't use heat. So I pour about 50 milliliters into each container. I end up needing a few more containers than eight, so I grab a few extra. Every pressure cooker is going to be different, so mine calls for 12 cups of water, so that's what I'm doing here. I definitely recommend watching some videos about how to use pressure cookers as autoclaves. It can be a little dangerous, and also you want to make sure that every container that you're putting into this is autoclavable. So these containers are from Phytotech and the containers in the lids are both designed to withstand up to 121 degrees Celsius, which will be the temperature at 15 PSI. Um, I didn't have room for that last container. He looks so sad there. Sorry. So I bring the pressure up to 15 PSI and then I set a timer for 20 minutes. And after that 20 minutes is up, I just turn the stove off and let everything depressurize fully before opening it. I wait hours. And this is the media right after taking it out of the pressure cooker, still warm, um, but within an hour, it firms up a little. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. Bye.